Right, Sorry. Thing was, you want us to like go around, maybe like introduce yourself? You, you, you start off the. Uh, well, first, babe, why don't you introduce the podcast? Uh, uh, it's your first. Now, yeah, really? honestly, like I was telling him, man, I was so fucking nervous. Like, I was like, oh, man, I don't even want to text this fucking guy. I've never done an interview in my life. I don't know. Really? Really? Started off with an introductory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought I was talking about it. Thank you. Yes. Well, Introduce. I'm Angry Gordon. That's, that's my name on, on the non judgmental like, podcast. The Angry And uh, I'm here with the Rivers of Nile, right? Yeah, minus the the, but yeah. Almost. Well, minus the the. <laughs> but, uh, you want to introduce yourselves? I'm uh, a- Adam Kenneth Biggs. I uh, <laughs> I uh, play bass. Oh, we do middle names, huh? It's fancy. I mean, this is his first official formal interview, so we gotta yeah, you gotta yeah. give him the full government. You know what I mean? Sometimes it was issue for himself to have to have the right. mouth. Okay, okay. Yeah. Social security card too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay. I-, I play bass and I uh, write lyrics and stuff like that. Yeah. And scream occasionally. Okay. Maybe sing a little bit. Yeah, uh, I'm, all, I'm like, uh. Yeah, you got to that white dog, bro. <laughs> so you're in my. I'm like, uh. Wanna. Yeah, I'm a uh, jack of all trades in this band. There you go. But this guy. <laughs> uh, okay. So my name. Originally, where's my car though? Okay, I don't speak. My name is Jacob Fitzumbach. Uh, I do vocal in River of the uh, I write a very small percentage of lyrics, <laughs> but I deliver a Qua- quality over quantity. Quality <laughs> over quantity. Yeah, that. that's, that's kind of my motto. Okay. Um, <laughs> But it's my job to really deliver, I guess, the emotion of the man. Yeah. And be the more fun kind of uh, innovator. You know, that middle man between the crowd and the band. Try to, like, bridge, bridge everyone over kind of deal. So you're the singer? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that would make you the singer. All right, all right. Long story short. Very long story short. This guy. But this guy. Well, since Biggs did it, uh, I'm Jerry Skyler Klein. Woo! I play drums and I sing occasionally. Yes, it does. Uh, on the opposite side of the states from these guys, but yeah. Biggs is very sad. Uh, it makes our time together even sweeter, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a few questions for you guys. Uh, are you sure you don't want to just listen to us talk about nothing? <laughs> no, don't worry, man. <laughs> if, if I would have known you'd have done that, I wouldn't have wrote the fucking out. questions. You don't know how he stressed out over the. He really stressed out over these questions. He's got to at <laughs> least <laughs> ask one of them. Okay. You guys are a big deal, whether you realize it or not. Oh. You know, whether you realize it or not, you guys are. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you guys are like a. You guys are fucking exploding. I just hit you with sticks. I just come. <laughs> We just, we just do our jobs, man. If, if, ever, if other people think we're doing a good job at it, you know what I mean? Like, good, whatever. Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, I mean, your most recent album, uh, what is it, uh, Where Owls Know My Name, just, it, it just kind of blew, blew up. Uh, it's been a big hit with the metal community. Uh, I want to know, what sets this apart from your previous album? What do you think you guys did differently to kind of be put in the spotlight right now? Uh, well... To put it in like real quick and easy terms, we stopped giving a fuck. Um, Doing what we want. Yeah, we just like decided that like we were gonna face the emotion that that, that, that comes with the music that is, has has kind of like influenced us. That has kind of like come to us. I feel in the past I don't I have nothing to do with any of the actual music, music writing process, but I do believe that there is a, a part where like. Maybe we were more specific on what we wanted to do. And I feel this time around, we're just open to anything. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, like, it's kind of like a good, good way. Right oh, yeah, totally. I mean, I think, like, just before we were, like, really concerned about, like, what our tag was. Like, we're a technical death metal band or whatever. 
So we have to be that all the time. Or, or, or we have to, like before, like we have to prove that, that that's what we are. So you stopped trying to fit in and just started to do like pander, you know, I guess, to yeah, other like, people I have or the whole perspective of the long wall of the whole casualization of like some genres and stuff too. Like, you know like I feel like, you know, me and Biggs not excluding Jared, because uh, Jared is a little bit younger than us. But but not by much. You can't tell by the beard. <laughs> yeah, no. This guy is, he's, 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 he's in our age bracket. That's fine. How old are you guys? We're, we're, me and Jake are the old men of the band. I'm, I, I'm 30. I'm 32. Yeah. 27. Old man. I'm 34, guys. We're, we're, we're basically the oldest. We're the same. Yeah. <laughs> we're the eldest. Yeah. But daddies. going back to what you were talking about, like my whole thing about John Relegation is the fact that like, I feel people sometimes get so focused on what a band should be based off of what they have created that they own those expectations and somehow can't rack it outside of them because they already created them. And I feel like that is a misunderstanding sometimes behind the true authentic push behind what music really should be. It should always be an expression of, of what it's feeling currently. You know, and I, and I feel like, you know, I mean, obviously we're all guilty of it. We all try to like sound something similar to our peers or, 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 or bands that we've been you know, influenced by it, but at the same time, we try to be individualized. We try to be individual. And, uh, I, th I think, you know, yeah. like, from, you know, from a different perspective, you could also say that we were just less concerned about making a, a, a good, like, metal or death metal or technical death metal record and making, and more concerned with making a good music record. You know, if that may have meant, like, you know, really beefing up the production with a lot of added instrumentation or like really stripping things back or, or you know, not focusing on technicality. Um, that's what we were going to do. You know, we were, we were going to serve the songs and the album itself as much as possible and, and like really let the genre tags just go by the wayside if that should be the be the way that it happened. And uh, I, think, I think it turned out all the better for that attitude, honestly. It's like their new favorite album of the year. Uh, I nominated for it's one of my albums of the year so far. Thanks, and, uh, I couldn't tell you how many times I played it. Like, it. I could. Like she told me to change. She said, "Can we listen to something else?" And all I did was go. Sorry, to your you don't like it. No, I do <laughs> like it. Oh no, no, no. I do like it, but he gets when he finds a new band he really hear, likes. You can only listen to me say "Fear Drowns the Mind" so many times, right? That's not true, man. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea that was you, dude. It's honestly yeah. the voice that becomes hard to fucking listen to the most. Who? Me. Oh. Yeah. No, dude, that's because that's because it's you, though. Yeah, put the self. Like, cause that's because you're listening to yourself. <laughs> like when I listen to our music, I I think like this would never be the same without Jake. Well, and, and I'm not I'm not saying this to be in, in any kind of way, but it probably would, would in the sense that like we are identified not only by the way that you guys musically create things, but by my own sound. So like if, if there was another vocalist in the band that didn't sound like me, it would it would change it, the whole fucking it would change the whole fucking thing. It would thing. change everything. Change yeah, everything. that's how I feel about it. Anyway, yeah, I would yeah. think uh, you're a different kind of bass player, my friend. Okay. I think that <laughs> you rent. I think that if this guy you were to, you know, if something were happening, I think I don't know what happened to the band. You, you, you are, you make the band. I mean, you're a fucking amazing bass Basically. player, man. Right? You're not just backing these guys. Like I, I'm literally listening to your album to hear you play. Oh, thank you. Know? you. So it's, appreciate it. Uh, I, I don't. I, I mean, like I, know, I realize I have a different approach uh, than a lot of like players, especially in the genre, like. There's a lot of dudes out there who are just like, I watch them play and I'm like, you, these guys are like, fucking crushing it. Like, like this dude knows, like I'll watch dudes from, like, I'm not gonna mention any names, but certain bands around, you know, around our age bracket who are playing like heavy, fast technical death metal. And I'm watching these bass players and I'm like, fuck, I suck. Because I, don't, because I can't tell you, I can't tell you about the notes. That, that, that I'm playing really other than I'm like yeah this sounds good like there's so many dudes out there like like Evan Brewers out there who are just like like he it, like that 
that neck of the base is like an it's another limb. You know what I mean? I don't feel that way. I'm just kind of like taking out. I'm just taking out. Yeah. Oh no. I'm just taking out like my hey, my, my, my emotions, emotions on the strings, strong. I guess. Emergency. Emergency. Here you go. Come on here. I got chef stick. And a lighter? Oh, you can, is your lighter working? What's your going on here? Do you just want my lighter? <laughs> my friend. My, my brother. I don't know, man. The guy know. who just went to the bathroom. He looks like a narc, man. He was going to yeah. the private. He was going to that private bathroom, and y'all just like messed it up. He for might him. be doing the other stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Like, there's other dudes who are like more, I guess, like technically sound than me. But I, you know, I do realize that like. I bring a, a special kind of personality to the instrument for the band. Uh, you stand just, out. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, one thing I would like to know is, uh, you know, if you guys were meeting someone new for the, you know, and trying to get them into your band, what song would you guys suggest? Oh, I mean, uh, it depends because we kind of have our, an array of sounds to listen to at this point, like. Um, if I, if I, I would subtle change, yeah, but then like, you know, that's the that, same. My, that is my yeah, top I feel thing, like guys. it has every, it has the, the most proportional amount of what is included in the whole album. Sure, but also, also, like, if I suggest that to somebody who is like not a fan of nine minute long frog epics, it might not go over as well. I might, like, like I might, like, if a guy is like, Come into a de dying fetus show and is like, what should I listen to? I'd be probably more inclined to be like, listen to Rain Eater or something. Man? Sorry, just had to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't leave a phone in there, man? The no, man. The phone? No. Hey. <laughs> this is where the, the, hot, the hot spot is. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yeah, if it, if it was like like a tech death There's or a like death a little, metal thing, like, I'd suggest like Hollow or uh, yeah. or Death Is Real or Old Nothing. And then if it was like they're just like into like softer stuff, or I wouldn't really say soft, just like more clean singing, you know. I'd say like Where Alice Know My Name, check that out first. Or uh, what else? I get. I mean, like. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, there's some people. Oh, yeah. oh no worries, man. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that door worked, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know there was a door there. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> there's, I mean, like, I, I think anybody who gets into our band is like and has one really set idea in mind is gonna be in, in, in for interesting surprises. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If you really dive into what we've done, you're gonna get a different vibe off of everything we've released. So. It's, you know, I might as well throw a door to this song. And, and if somebody likes it, they do, you know. Because honestly, everything is a little bit different. So, I mean, like, that's why I think I'll change. Because they probably the most periodically from one verse to the next diverse, diverse song that we had. And you know what? If you really think about the broad spectrum of every song that we release, with every album, that means surprised with one song that might have the most diverse song among the most diverse songs of the whole. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. So, I mean, like, why not give them that song and then go from there? I feel like one song doesn't really represent all of your music yeah, because... Yeah, it, 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 would, it wouldn't. It, I, I feel that song kind of does. It, Su it subtle change is right. the best representation. I'm here. I'm not going to lie. It, it has a little <laughs> bit of what every sound that we created kind of has. But, yeah, Sound you created. Crazy parts. Um, I gotta ask. Saxophone. Uh, so I knew it was I'm, coming. I'm sure. Well, <laughs> I didn't want to ask. Saxophone. But, <laughs> That's where? It. Where? Why? Um, uh, uh, our uh, our uh, our lead guitarist Brody. Uh, he's like, he's like an enterprising young gentleman. So when he's at home, he'll occasionally record local bands. You know. Um, so one time he was recording this band, the guitar player in the band just sort of offhandedly mentioned that he plays saxophone too, and Brody was just like, okay, whatever. But they became friends, you know, and um, uh, so when we had new demos happening... I'm leaving, I promise. You're good, right. man. Oh, man. Hold, hold your seat up. But when, uh, yeah, when he... I 
Brody was like, we started to get uh, some demos together for this new record. <laughs> he decided to send a demo of The Silent Life to our friend Zach, and uh, he just sent it back to him in, in a YouTube video playing a saxophone solo over it. And we were like, this is so fucking cool. Like, we know that other bands have done saxophone before, but it just struck us in such a way that it was like, we can't pass on this. And then, like, more parts started to crop up as, as we went along and, and stuff like that. And um, and we just kept, like, it kept being a thing with me and him where it's like, should we do another sax solo? And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's working, guys. I mean, it, it... But it's like one of those things, like, do we more, do more sax in the future? I, I don't know. Like, do we, I, I almost have this feeling, like, on, on a, a subsequent record that we're going to, like, Put that aside. That was my next question. And work, work on something different, you know? The tuba. Let's, let's go to the next yeah. question, and then we'll go to the record answer. That, that was my next an uh, question, was, uh, are you guys going to keep on doing the saxophone thing? I don't know. You know? I don't know go ahead, man. You're good. I, I, I think I, we're just going to do whatever we feel is best. Yeah, right? I, but at the same time, I don't know if we have... There might be, like, one passage. One significantly important passage on the next record. And this is old. This is not even we don't, we don't have a sing, we don't this have a single is, note written. No, <laughs> this is all based on right there. Right? Just, just sneak some saxophone yeah. in what? somewhere yeah. in I there. Don't I think there might be one single significantly monumental passage where a saxophone comes into play, and that would be that would be the all and. And it was used by this kid, motherfucker, who did it on this thing. Well, what if it ends up being <laughs> something that, you know, your fans are looking for? You know, the, well, that's uh, kind of... You know I think we're stepping... We're stepping... We'll always be looking for whatever we create. Well, or, 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 and not to intervene. Yeah, but they're, 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 they're looking for whatever they want to be looking for anyway. So we just, like, and, like, a lesson we learned in writing this... A lesson we learned in writing <laughs> this was... Save uh, for the next guy. But this album was like, let's just do what we want, and if they, if they like it, they will come. Cool. If they don't like it, um, cool. <laughs> At least we can say that we made something that we felt was, you know, uh, worthy of our, worthy of the name. You our know? own expression. Yeah, I mean, it becomes. I I I, I, feel, I feel like what Bates is trying to say in short is that like we've now grown to the maturity level where we don't feel limited by like what the genre is special to by like what it's cool or it's not. We are more in touch with our own personal musical taste in touch that we just want to deliver that feeling through our musicianship. And Biggs being like the most authentic bass player I've ever fucking known, Brody, being like probably one of the best fucking guitar players I've ever known. In short, this guy, fucking solo fucking drum master over here, literally had to bring the shit on the fucking album. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but, but the drum solos he do in the fucking record are insane. You know, it's just, it all comes from that, you know? So it's, we're just gonna make what we're gonna make, and like, it, it could be a completely dumbed down death metal record. We don't even know yet, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, last question, guys. I won't keep you long. Blunt's out, so I mean, I'm sure you guys are tired. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. What's something the fans could do to help you guys on tour to make life easier? You know? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm serious. Baby wipes. <laughs> don't no, just no, just no, no, he's like, no. no. Serious <laughs> question. You know, we want to keep you guys doing what you, you do. Please. We, we, we're happy you guys do this, and yeah, we yeah, just want to make sure you guys are comfortable. Just, just please come to shows. That's yeah, all you have to do. That's all you have to do is get off your ass. <laughs> and you're gonna and you're gonna make <laughs> like like you're gonna make all of our nights. If you if you if we come play if we come yeah. You know what? You know you know what will make our night. Try to bring someone out who's never been to a metal show. Sure. That's yeah. Bring yeah. someone out who's never been exposed to this. Maybe someone. <laughs> someone who wouldn't even think about going to a metal show. Yeah. Someone maybe who's going through something that's 
they're super fucking frustrated and pissed off in life, and they need an outlet just to release themselves, bring them to a fucking metal show. Someone who is a drug addict, someone who's like going fucking through it, bring them to a fucking metal show. Or maybe they'll find something in there. I don't know. I mean, like, that's all I gotta say. I think that's why we're all here. Right? Right? I mean, we, we all, all have some girls. Are drug addicts? No, no, no. 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 I mean, I, it, just, just even I'm saying. Say, yeah, I mean, like you can go above and beyond, but please, if you like heavy metal music or you even like like a band a little bit, and you do you want to help, out. Come, come out. Like I, you know, at the end of the day, I like I run a lot of the business stuff for the band, and like so I care about doing money stuff a lot. At the end of the day, I kind of don't give a shit. I mean, obviously, if you need money to keep help and keep running the band, but like, I do this because I want to get on stage and play for people. If uh, if I show up to a city and I play for 15 people, I feel like I wasted my time. So, I mean, like, just pay attention to the socials, come out to shows, bring your friends, just do that. That's how you can help any band that you like. Just go to the show. All right, well, you heard it, guys. Get off your ass. Rivers of Nile. I want to thank you guys. You know, it really means a lot. Of course, man. And, uh, it's fun. Go see these guys when they come to town. Fuck yeah. <laughs>